everybody and hello and welcome back. So I am at the doctor's to get an iron infusion because I found out that my ferritin levels, my iron levels are really low, which probably explains a lot. Um, but here's being hopeful to getting it done and feeling better. And I suppose I can tell you guys anything exciting that might happen, but um, they told me it would take two hours. I have to go into the doctor, get the script, walk to the pharmacy, get the iron stuff, and then walk back to the doctor and have my appointment. So why they can't actually just have the iron ready to go for me, I don't quite know, but this is the world we live in, the confusing, uh, confusing world. So wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. If I have anything exciting to say, I will come back and tell you. And that target box I found in a car park and I'm gonna use it on my garden, just in case you're wondering why. But yeah, it's like 20 degrees today. Beautiful, lovely, amazing. Let's go, go, go. Let's get the iron. Let's get it. All right, I'm back again and I got the iron thing. So you like sit there, they ask you questions. They do your blood pressure check your temperature and your pulse thing and then you wait of course and then the doctor comes in looks at your like paperwork like your results thingy and then they administer it so I sat there and it pumped into me and then my hand my hand actually felt really cold and like really numb and sort of a bit weird but I will tell you the service at this clinic was amazing like I'm very hopeful now now I have an appointment booked in to see the doctor to find out why is my iron low and then we just do the next thing so that's the whoo I'm relieved and man I had to drink one and a half liters of water this morning I, that is very challenging for the old bladder but now I go home, back to my children, back to my happy life, and big, like super, I'm super hopeful. I'm super hopeful that I'll start feeling better. And then you guys can just see my progress because my main complaint is um, like lack of energy, a weird, like lack of sensation in my left foot, like a brain fog and gaining weight. So despite my still good eating and good lifestyle, I am steadily gaining weight and my blood work did say that my cortisol levels were high so I don't know if my body's kind of gone into like this damage control where it's holding on to weight to protect my organs I don't know but it's a big journey like I want to lose at least 15 kilos that's a lot of weight that's a lot of weight but I'm also not straining myself at the moment because I am so worn out and tired and and lost my puff. I want my puff back. I want my um, energetic nature to return. So I've got to kind of do things in the right way and work out why I'm low in iron. Like that's sort of the anomaly there is that I have like a carnivore diet. I don't have like huge blood loss issues. I why but we'll find out and i'll keep you posted and this will just be like my video that i upload for other people and maybe one day they'll find it because they're like why am i low in iron and not that necessarily whatever i am low in is the thing but you know maybe maybe just solidarity maybe just like we're in this together who even knows but i'm gonna go and i'll see you later and have a great day. We moved the car so we could bring the little free library down. And now we're kind of just hanging out. And we're just waiting for the magic to happen. So we don't need to be here, but we'll just wait here. And it will be marvelous. Hey, James. Okay, so two, two things, no, one thing. I wanted to kind of explain 
my I don't know if I alluded to it in another video or I've done a video about it but I have not been feeling completely well lately and I ended up contacting a friend of mine who recommended that I get a doctor to give me like a script of a ton of blood tests that I could take to find out Anyhow, the very next day I get a phone call and I get told you need to go get an iron transfusion like today. So my ferritin levels for my iron registered at a six and um, that was really bad. Apparently it's like the equivalent of not really having anything in my system. So I went off to a local doctor, I got an iron infusion and I don't really have any reasons why I have low iron. So I don't have any kind of illness. I don't have, well, that I know of. I don't have, um, like I'm not a vegetarian or a vegan. They can tend to have lower iron unless they have a, I, hey, I'm not a vegetarian. So I'm not even gonna try to begin to say, but the nurse there is a vegetarian. And she told me that often vegetarians have to get iron infusions because they have low iron, because they're not eating enough of a balanced whole diet or whatever. I don't know. Like I said, not a vegetarian. So if I'm a really strong carnivore and I don't have any like pre-existing conditions that I know of or anything like that, why is my iron so low? Well, in the past, a doctor would just say, have iron tablets, which would lead to major constipation, huge issues, and to the point where the doctor actually said, you fall into the category of people that should not be on iron tablets. So I've done like spirulina, whole bags of spinach, all sorts of things. And my iron is still low. So where am I at now? I think I got the iron infusion like a week ago and I did not immediately feel good. And I still don't feel good. I still feel very easily fatigued, very heavy limbs brain fog or just I don't feel good so today I did work on the little free library but you will see that in another video or ha would have already seen it who even knows so yeah that's kind of my update I found out my iron was really low I went and got an iron infusion and I still feel very terrible so it's just kind of like a debilitating fatigue so I don't know if there's anybody else out there who has low iron with nothing kind of indicating why. It's been recommended to me that I see a gastro doctor to find out if there's a leak, a hole, like, I don't even know. But yes, so that's what we're just going to keep on keeping on, aren't we? And um, try not to really, like, well, there's no point worrying about it because there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I'm just still waiting for that magical energy to return and I go back to the doctor tomorrow. So it actually looks like I finally found a doctor that wants to find out what's going on rather than just tell me to take a pill or tell me to eat more meat. Like, I trust me, I eat enough meat. So yeah, that's kind of my, you know, my channel is about me. <laughs> So this is like another element of, you know, my life and what I'm going through. And, you know, it's okay. But I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm now down here for my free time. I'm going to try to chill out. That's a whole other thing I'm working on is meditation and just chilling out. I'm always busy. I have a busy mind and I'm always like, go, 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 go. And obviously I have the children and stuff like that as well and other things that create busy. So finding time, who even knows when? Like I got up at 5.30 this morning and I feel like I've just been since I woke up. So now is time for me to chill out and relax. That's the plan. So that's my update video on the whole iron thing i will continue to take you along on the journey as i have new updates like maybe what does the doctor say what's the next plan and maybe somebody might find the videos useful that i don't prescribe to you have children you're going to be tired for the rest of your life i don't prescribe to 
being tired is just life and that's the way it is and that's it because if you get to the stage that I'm in where I'm not actually even living a great quality of life because I have such limitations like if I can't casually plant six small bushes and not have to go lay down on my bed that's not super awesome so we're after super awesome I'm gonna go kill a huge fly that is in the hobby room and I'll just see you in the next video so take care guys if your iron's low or you're feeling low maybe go to your doctor and um, find out what's going on and together we can all be better so I'll see you in the next video take care guys sunshiny 8 a.m. morning in Melbourne, Australia. So I have been documenting how I've been feeling since I got my, I'm waiting behind the garbage truck. about like what different people recommend because traditionally I'm not good at resting and even when I am in air quotes resting I'm still thinking my mind's still going a mile a minute so working on that yes but yesterday I painted the little free library and I planted six small blueberry bushes and today I feel mentally and physically wrecked and I'm frustrated and exasperated as well because I just want to be better already I don't want to rest I just want to be better and I am wondering if it's because of all those years of having babies having no, to have cesareans, the recovery time, all that time where I felt like I was doing nothing and I was growing humans inside of me. <laughs> um, that I'm ready to just go now. Like I just want to go already, but my body's really depleted and I'm really struggling a lot. So, I, you know, my game plan, if you will, is I'll go to the doctor today and I will tell the doctor that I still feel rubbish and then hopefully the lovely doctor will go hmm and investigate more as to why I feel rubbish. I have googled, I'm very good at googling and I have read that people with like underlying conditions can basically have real trouble absorbing iron um, and their underlying condition they may present to be low in iron but it's their underlying condition that kind of exacerbates it I don't know I don't know if I have an underlying condition so we'll find out but I'm really tired and I'm unable to properly care for my children. And that bothers me a lot because I've always been very pride filled that I'm very capable and strong. I can do whatever I put my mind to. And now my body is not cooperating. Like I said, I just, what, all I did was paint a little free library with that sprayer plant the six blueberry plants do the other things 
my husband still bathed the children and he went food shopping so I'm not even feeling like I'm holding up my end and I'm wrecked like because I'm trying to be professional I'm not gonna like cry but I'm very tired and I'm very sore my arms and legs are very sore too much too sore for it to be like excused away with oh you used the pickaxe yesterday like it's too much if I can't actually do what I need to do something's going on what is happening so and I'm really bothered by my my mental state I'm bothered by the fact that I have like stopped eating really well and I'm really bothered that I've gained weight but I'm that tired I'm that wrecked that I'm not doing anything about it because I can't previously if I got fed up with being overweight for example I would restrict my diet I'd start getting up early and walking I can't do that my heart feels taxed like do I now fall into this invisible illness category like yeah so just trying to chill out trying to be calm not worry about it be okay and right now I'm literally picking my husband up from work because he doesn't have the car there because I need his help was his suggestion you know I probably try to tough it out but clearly I'm not really at that stage anymore there's no more toughing out to have it's gone <laughs> it's gone but yeah so there's another update like the very next day I'm not sure how I'll put all these videos together but no doubt maybe just maybe um, me sharing about my low iron journey can help another person so yeah